you know, there's no more miles on the clock. There's no, you know, you can't put any more miles on. There's too many on there. And, um, you know, I'm not a bullshitter. I know, I know. I mean, it does suck because the competitor in me was, was hating being where I was in the race. I wanted to be up the front. And, uh, you know, I don't train, do all this training and, and sacrifice and spend time away from the kids to get fit. Mm. Um, some people might be happy with that. I, I, I've never been happy with that. So um, I wanted to recreate some magic and then go out on top today and I wasn't able to do it. That being said, give credit to the guys who deserve it. Yeah. The four guys in front were clearly better. They swam, biked and ran, ran better than I did and, and they deserve to be where they were and I probably deserve to be where I was. So, um, yeah. I mean, I hadn't planned on doing an Ironman. I mean, it's going to take me a long time to recover because I'm, four, I'm 41 in two, yeah. two and a half months. So, like I said, when I committed to doing Malaysia in uh, October last year, this wasn't even on the horizon. Mm. Um, I got the thought in my head in November. And really, when the training was going well and I was healthy in January, that's when I decided to do it. But I'm, I'm still going to go up to Malaysia and I'll yeah. be the ambassador and hopefully someone with common sense won't won't put me on the star one, I can do a team or something, but um, I just, you know, it's hard because I, I want to win, and uh, I'm not what I used to be. Yeah. Is, the goal, is the goal still to go back to the 70.3 Worlds at the end of the year? Um, well, if that was the goal, I probably shouldn't have raced here, but yeah. this will take me a, my, my legs, I mean, that, that marathon hurt me more than any marathon I've run, so um, I dug as deep as I could. I mean, I put myself in a terrible position, you know. I, as I was just saying to Roger, I, I want to be the guy up the front spraying the champagne. I was, I was making up the numbers today. I mean, I, I, I guess I salvaged a top five, and a lot of guys would be happy with that. I've never been happy with that. Um, I hope for a lot better. But I'm at a point in my life now, I, you know, I'm not going to kid myself. I'm not devoting the focus and the attention to it. And I haven't for probably 12 months, and that, that's the truth. And I probably have done myself no favours by getting into... I mean, I'm not the kind of guy who just jumps into small races. I jump into Kona and then I jump into this. And you're going to get found out because, you know, when the Europeans come down here and then the North Americans come down here, they're in shape. No, no one travels long haul unless they're in shape and they're prepared. And those guys need points for Kona. I mean, I coach Barney. He needs points for Kona. So I know the work he's done. I've been coaching him since October. I know what he's done. And can I just say how stoked I am for him too, by the way. Um, you know, it's got to be your number one focus, and it hasn't been mine. And then that, that's probably where I've let myself down. I, I should have... I'm just stubborn. I don't listen to other people. I just I just think I can come here at 90% and still win. Uh, you're just kidding yourself, because, you, you, you know, this is a... I mean, Kona's the world champs, and this is a regional champs. I mean, I doubt there'd be a field like this assembled until Kona this year. So, um, you know, you have a subpar swim. I mean, I dropped off the front group probably 2K into it, and then we swam off course. That's, that doesn't help help your cause either, but the truth is we lost more time on the bike, and I mean, I ran a decent run, but it was too little too late. I mean, but uh, you know, I've got other things. It's, it's, it's been a good run. I'm not going to, you know, don't shed a tear from it. I did, you know, you get what you deserve in life. And, and I've had a good run. Um, and, you know, I've got a business that I've, it's been up and running for 12 months now and we're trying to launch. And, I, and the most important thing is my family. I've got a wife and three beautiful kids and I, I need to spend more time with them. Are you, um... I enjoyed working with Barney because I just love the kid, you know, and uh, I know what he's capable of, and um, I want him to go to Kona because I think he has a, a good game there to do well. There's things, you know, don't get me wrong, you didn't see the finished product today. There's, there's a lot of work we need to do. He did what he had to do today, and we, we did what we had to do the last five months to get here, and uh, he got exactly what he deserved today, so absolutely stoked he's won some money and got some Kona points, and. Me and Hillary can go and have a good break now. This will take some pressure off. Um, you know, I think he, I want to, you know, I'm going to try and help him get a few sponsors from this. And uh, he's a real deal. You know, you need you need some talent and some direction. But what you need for these kind of races is a, a lion heart, and he's got it. He's tough. He always has been. He's old school tough. You know, and 
I want to I want to see him in the mix in the in the real big one. This is a big race, but I want to see him in the mix on the big island because I think you know the way he swims, he's always in contention. He's very strong on the bike, <clears throat> and he's a great runner. So you know, I'm I'm taking him to the next level. That's where he's going. Probably a couple of weeks short, a couple of long runs short, and it just hurts too much. You know it. It's not even the training, I just can't spend the time doing the recovery. You know, getting all, all the things done that I need to do. And, and the truth is, you know, I'm just sick of saying that to my kids. No, we can't go to the park because I'm tired. And no, we can't go to the beach. You know, I've had a good run and, and they need to be the focus and the priority now. So, you know, when, when the kids are young, in some respects, it's a lot easier because it's, it's very labor intensive for their mum. I'd go out and train, but no, they're old enough, they want to hang out with Dad. They want to go fishing with Dad, and, and I don't want to go fishing with them, I want to do stuff with them, so, um, you know, no regrets, it was good, I wanted to go out on top, you know, as I said, our fifth is, it's okay, it's, it's not, yeah, you know, I've never been satisfied with anything less than, you know, the podium or, or winning, uh, but what I can say is I gave 101% of what I, of what I had today, and, but once again, I, you know, I, I let myself down the last week. I got sick again, and I, you know, it's just symptomatic that I've just pushed my body too hard for too long. I'm, I'm 40. And everyone keeps saying it's only a number. It is only a number. But what happens is, you, as you get older, you do need to focus a lot of time on your body. And if I was a single man, I would do it. But, but I'm not. And, and there's other things I can be doing now. And. Um, and things I want to be doing with the business and, and coaching Barney and you know you know I could coach one or two more athletes but I mean, the reason I've resisted coaching a lot of the elites for a, for a long period of time I mean, I've probably been asked 40 times to coach people yeah. and I've I followed professionals and, and I've said no because it's it's a job you, you need to take seriously it's not just a, an exercise in public relations you know I know it would be great for my business my coaching business if people knew I could coach this person and that person and right. this person and, but you're selling them short unless you, you devote 100% attention to that as well so um, the, the will is still there I mean when it, it started hurting me I mean I was on pace to run 236 for a lot today and I had to have a couple of walks and um, I think I'm not sure what the splits were my watch went dead but I think I run a low 240 maybe um, and uh, I, I didn't know, I wasn't worried about the hurt at all. I thought he was enjoying it. That's, that's, that's what you get when you come here. But the body just doesn't respond to it. You know, if the preparation, the, the mind was willing, the mind was willing, but the body just, it's not quite, it's not quite what it once was. So, you know, I'm 41 and I don't want to use that as an excuse. I prepared the best I could. I can't do the mileage that I, I once could. And that's, that's the truth. Yeah. So, um, you got, like you said, you got a family anyway. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and, and family side, physically, I just can't put in the miles and recover the way I used to either. So, um, yeah, but it, it is what it is. And I, I wanted to finish, you know, I'm not for doing a race that no one's had. I want to come where there's going to be you know, a few thousand people watching and, and a great field and Kona contenders. You know, we had a great field here. And, some of the best guys in the world race, Marino and Luke McKenzie and Dirk and those sorts of guys. You know, Dirk went 7.50 and off last year, so no slouch, obviously. Dave Fellow, Barney, the boy, you know, everyone's lifting their game and you've got to match that desperation and their focus and their drive and do all the things that they do. You know, train and then come home and get off your feet. Not start answering emails and making phone calls and, you know, all that kind of thing. And, that's, that's what it takes. That's part of the job description. So, but uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I, you know, I'm glad I came here to race because it's, yeah, as I said, it's not in my nature to, to go somewhere. You know, not to, I'm not going to denigrate any race and name any race, but I, you know, I wanted to come to a big championship yep. sort of thing. And you know, so I've, I've raced here. Uh, I mean, let's look at the pattern three times: first, third, fifth. It's going the wrong way. You know. So I doubt I'll be back next year because that pattern is suggesting seventh. Or <laughs> and uh, it's sort of, yeah. But um, it's a great race here and I can't speak highly enough of Jeff Moore and the crew and what they do here, you know, to 
I mean, you've been around, you've seen the race. Yeah. Isn't it fun to, to race in a big city? Yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's fun to race in a big city and, you know, and, and have, and, and be the headline act for a day. I know they've got a lot of sports going on. They had the Grand Prix last weekend yeah. and they've got a couple of footy codes over the weekend here. And, but we, we, you know, we get some top billing down here and it's great for our sport. And, um, yeah, I, I really like the direction the sport's taking, to be honest. I think we're getting some really good marquee events. Um, you know, with Conan and the regional championships, Frankfurt's been a great race for a few years now. This one is becoming one of the, you know, one of the jewels in the crown. And um, it's the same in the 70.3 circuit. So, you know, yeah, I think the sport's headed in the right direction. There's still some work to do, but um, it's, it's fun. You know, it's, it's a fun race and it's a unique course. So, yeah, it's a good one to do. I'm glad I did it.